Hola, Kike. Today we will be making a combination of two of my favorite foods, pretzels and bagels. Both of these foods date back a very long time, pretzels being one of the oldest snacks known in history. When combined, these two foods make the most amazing dish that can be enjoyed so many ways. Let's get started. I like to separate all of my ingredients first because you will be combining them together in a very specific steps. We have our yeast mixture ingredients, dough ingredients, and then the needed supplies for cooking and finishing. To begin, we will add one quarter cup of warm water to a bowl. Make sure it is not boiling, but not room temperature. If the water is too hot, it will kill the yeast, too cold, and it won't combine fully. Then, add one tablespoon of dry active yeast. Now, add one quarter teaspoon of sugar. You want to stir and combine this very well so that the yeast and sugar dissolve together. The sugar is added to feed the yeast so it can be activated. Then we will let this sit for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, add two and a quarter cups of flour to a large mixing bowl. Then add a half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and three quarter cups of warm water. Once your yeast is activated, add that to this bowl and mix until just combined. The dough will look a little shaggy, like this. Empty the dough onto a clean surface and get ready to knead. We will knead this dough for 10 whole minutes. You can do this however you like to. I start by massaging it and rolling it back and forth. Once the dough is fully kneaded and has a light spring in texture, form the ball into a neat circle and place it into a lightly greased bowl. Then, Cover it with a clean kitchen towel and let it sit for 45 minutes so the dough can rise. Don't forget to grease the bowl, otherwise the dough will stick and will not rise properly. When your dough is ready, place it back onto your clean surface and cut it into 6 even sized pieces. Roll the pieces between your hand to form a nice ball and then use your thumb to create your bagel hole. You can make this hole pretty large as it will close a little bit during the boiling and baking process. While you continue to make your bagels, bring five cups of water to a boil. Once it is simmering, add a quarter cup of baking soda and stir well. One at a time, add your bagels to the water and cook for 30 seconds, flipping halfway through. Drain them very well. Add them to a baking sheet. I like to line my sheet with parchment paper so they don't stick. While they are still a little sticky, top them with your salt. Bake at 425 degrees for 15 minutes or until they are nice and golden brown. This is my favorite part. Now we're going to brush them generously with melted butter. Mmm. -hmm. I used vegan butter for mine. I love to cut mine in half and spread them with non-dairy cream cheese. Look at how beautiful this texture is.
but you can also just rip them open and enjoy them dipped into a cheese sauce or mustard too. Thanks for making pretzel bagels with me today, Kike. Ciao!